You're not interested in that, are you? In what? Halloween party. Well, this is what it is. We like we're, come dressed as the devil. No, that's what we're doing. It's, <laughs> well, hey, you'll get. You might win the damn prize. <laughs> Trying to, you know, get us a little DJ, get us a roller rink, and good you know, idea. have it, so have us a good night. But like I said, you're more than welcome. And since Halloween, I mean, we don't go out no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But we still have that. It's holiday. a great holiday. Yeah, it's yeah, a know great what I'm holiday. Saying? So we're candy and costume. Yeah. How can you beat that? Right. Well, Bill Belichick is very unique coach, but here he proves he's just like everyone else, puts his sweats on one pant leg at a time. Third down, put it on, Well, again, whatever it is, it is. Uh, I can't control that, so looks like the field will be wet. If it rains, it rains. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, you know, if it's hot, it's hot. If it's not, then that's what it is. So. He gives to Burkett, runs it left, lowering the shoulders, hurling to the goal line. And Rex Burkett, a New England touchdown. Right. <laughs> 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 Wow. <laughs> man, y'all crazy, man. Man, y'all crazy, man. Oh, yes, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Looking left for the goal line to Gronkowski. Touchdown, Patriots. I have a question, Coach. Um, can you explain the onside kick that happened there? With that kick. They recovered it. Looking left, throws it for Burkett. Leaps, comes down with it. Touchdown, Patriots! Where is he? Where? Oh, there, there he is. All right, all right. We got him in there. Where's, the, where's Coach? Oh, there he goes. He's Man, like, good he job, is. kid. Way to take my... He takes the step, bounces the pocket, and as he throws left, touchdown! Rob Gronkowski! In your face! In you guys made the last one yesterday with James Harrison. Uh, how would you describe him as a playing back? Just play outside linebacker for his Steelers. We'll see how it goes. Do you see, um, I mean, obviously a different scheme for them, but do you see carryover between what they ask him to do and what he might do in your scheme? Yeah, I don't know. We'll start working with him, see how it goes. What are your thoughts on his career? Good. And how much when you sign a player like that is experience in big games at all a factor I mean, you know, have big games ahead, obviously? Yeah, we can't control any of that. Shovel pass from Brandon to Braddock Cooks. Works his way toward the pylon. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Patriots. Morning. What's going on? Got any stories this week? <laughs> Wait from the back. You might have a shot. Go. Yep. There it is. Another sack. Sixth of the day for New England. They missed the landing up the middle on that last one, right? The tackle, the tackle took Riley. He uh, peeled. Two quick things for me, and then I'm going to turn it over to our order. That's why we practice in this show. Just stretch. You guys need to stretch. Maybe that's a problem. Too much gossiping and not enough stretching. One of the things that's always said about your teams is that you – you peak at the right time of the year, just before the, the playoffs and seem to have things come together. Is that a, a conscious thing where there's like a, a process to that? Or what is your, your view on being um, the, your best to when the, the weather kind of gets colder? Yeah, well, believe it or not, Chris, we try to play well all the time. So maybe it doesn't look that way, but we actually try to. So. Um, you know, this week it, it'll just be about uh, getting ready for Atlanta and, uh, you know, another NFC team that, that we don't know very well. Uh, so we'll do our best that we can to prepare and and um, and familiarize ourselves with the players as well as the schemes and, and be ready to go. 
Landry. Where is he? Let's make sure we get Landry. Try to stick a run in here. Just run it. When you guys obviously have a lot of experience playing against him, is the process when there's that much backlog with a player, is it a little bit different than bringing someone else in with a little bit less experience? Is there familiarity yeah. building there that we need to go on? Yeah, not every player is different. Been, um, former players now who analyze football who say that a move like that is great for intelligence, the idea that he could tell you things about his former team. Do you put any stock into that <coughs> aspect of when you sign a player, any player? Well, we're playing at Jets this week. I don't really know what that has to do with it. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. We had one fight like the second day. And then I made them run because they had so much energy to fight. And we haven't had any since then. And Roach, the final question. Hey, Bill. How you doing? Good, Dan. How about you? No complaints. No complaints. Uh, just a, a quick That's good. We don't want to hear them anyway, so. On the bootleg. I can tell you. Sir, just eyes. Don't chase it. Get your eyes on the quarterback. Then. Well, it's similar to Solder. You know, both guys are around 6'9". Hmm. All the way to the goalpost, fellas. All the way. I can't stand it. Run it again. Huddle up and run it again, Brady. What do you think you're in the seventh round, huh? All right, got it. Hey, are you saying is that more pro progress? Absolutely. Why you can't I? Back. He didn't lose the ball back here. Can I challenge years. that? No, no. Shut up, Redmond. You're is going to be running next. Fans have to hope this isn't a bad omen. It's one of the few mistakes this guy's made in years. He went to the wrong bench. <laughs> After leaving the tunnel, he went over to the Eagles sideline and somebody said, uh, hey, coach, I, I, we're I, on the other side. He's not out of the pocket. He's not out of the pocket. He's not out of the pocket. Hey, so look, we're cutting off here. We're playing this back, right? We're reaching this way. We're fanning back into this back, right? Right? Both backs are this way. We're here. Okay, both backs are this way. We're here. All right, you got to see again. All right. Five, five. That's it. Liver blown. Strike two. Liver blown. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, nice job. Yes, sir. Good. On the meet, coach. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. We're picking 31st, no chance. <laughs> yes, sir. Good luck. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah. Have a nice day, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Look, fellas, I am sick of this. Okay. Right. But they didn't go to North Dakota State. Well, the thing about the North Dakota State is when you talk to, <laughs> as you look at Coach Belichick and Josh. Josh. Can you measure it? Can you measure it? Can you measure this? Every damn play in practice and last week in a preseason game. Okay? I can't stand much more of this. All right. All right. Well, we played at Jets this week, so. Can you coach the Pro Bowl? Did you have him ever there? Have you ever had any background with him? Yeah, not too much. Yesterday, just to meet him the first time, was that important just to get to know him at all? Or did you feel like you had a good feel for what you were getting in terms of a person? No, it's always good to meet somebody. You would all view it as a positive when someone comes in late in the year and doesn't have a lot of snaps, um, a lot of wear and tear on their body from from this season. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's a joke. It's a joke. They're gonna come away with their second straight win. Yeah. Rules about you can interview someone if they're technically a GM or if they have executive. Power over to the roster. So you have those power. Look, whatever the rules are, they are. I didn't write them. I don't, you know, whatever they are, they are. Like, titles aren't the most important thing in the world around here to us. Winning is. Does he have executive power over roster decisions? That's your power. You know, I have never talked about contracts. I'm not going to start talking about them now. So. I don't know why you would bring it up. There's, there's no clarification. I'm not talking about contracts, period. Players, coaches, or anybody else's. Never have, and I don't, don't plan to. I don't know you. The ball's sitting right there. 
Just go out and measure it. I want to see if it's two inches or a foot or what it is. I think the question everyone's curious about this offseason is that when you were sitting on that bench in Connecticut uh, filming that commercial, what was the sandwich? Uh, it's pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's one of their uh, super dupers or whatever. But, um, yeah, you know, I've never, I haven't ever done anything like that. Um, and uh, I think, you know, we mentioned it on the, on the uh, BBF website. But, uh, you know, it's kind of a difficult environment to, uh, to raise funds now for um, – charities, foundations, and so forth for, you know, a number of reasons. And, you know, this is an opportunity to, to spend a day to, to um, you know, be able to uh, fund the initiatives that, that we have in the, in the foundation for um, student athletes and, and uh, the various sports programs that are, I would say, in a little tougher shape than maybe what they normally are, um, you know, financially from an opportunity standpoint. So, um Appreciate the opportunity that Subway gave uh, gave me the foundation, the support that they gave us, and uh, yeah, it was a fun commercial to do. And everybody loves sandwiches, so uh, hopefully, I'm okay with it. Uh, I know I'm going to get killed in the rookie shows on this. I, I know that's going to happen. But I'll just have to swallow it. Meet a young dentist.